Well, as bad as the flu is, it could be much worse. This year marks the 100-year anniversary of the 1918 flu pandemic, and it could happen again. News Channel 15's Brett Thomas explains. Yeah. For more than 20 years, Maureen Gav has been perplexed. I was just totally blown away with some of the things that I found. About an event. Millions of people died that has seemingly been lost to history. The influenza pandemic of 1918 and 1919 and how it affected the Fort Wayne area. Even wrote a paper about it featured in the Old Fort News. It was like a three month really drastic, you know, problem for the whole world. And you'd think that wouldn't fade from memory, but it did. Maybe because it was so horrific. It was a global viral terror that in a matter of months killed as many as a hundred million people worldwide. More than World War I and II combined. In Fort Wayne, all semblance of life came to a halt. Schools and churches were closed. Public gatherings were banned. Undertakers ran out of coffins. Paranoia grew. Some thought that children were to blame. But this is not a history lesson. According to experts, it's a harbinger of what is yet to come. It is expected. It's just a matter of when. Dr. Scott Steinecker is an infectious disease specialist at Parkview Health. This is truly a threat that keeps me up at night and my other infectious disease colleagues. They say we are standing on a viral cliff. If you figure that there are about 11 major proteins that have to line up to create a pandemic, yet 10 of them are already lined up. And if so, this will create a pandemic for which we have no vaccine. A mutated flu virus that would run a worldwide gauntlet bringing untold misery and death. Certainly scary and bleak, but unlike 1918, the scientists have seen it coming and they're working on new, faster vaccine production techniques. They're all well underway. So the future holds a couple of promises. The one is the ability to shift the vaccine quickly in the middle of the season and the other that we're working on, the holy grail, is to develop a universal antigen vaccine that will protect against all strains of flu, regardless of which one happens to be circulating this year. And both are well under production, uh, though the, re the research results are very exciting. Uh, we just don't have it yet. And so a race between science and biology is silently going on. And the question lingers, will we be ready? A hundred years ago, the people of Fort Wayne weren't ready at all. But because of world events, they were, in a way, prepared. We were already mobilized for World War I. So we did have a network already established. And so when this real emergency came up, it wasn't as tragic as it could have been if we were totally unprepared. The number of deaths due to flu in Fort Wayne was quite low compared to the rest of the state and even the country. And a lot of credit for that is given to the citizens for their ability to follow the health department's rules and close down nearly everything for three months. You can watch our other special report on how schools are fighting the flu right now on Wayne.com.